for me, being a private client advisor all my career uh, and to be recognised by my peers as being the private client accountant of the year is something really special to me. I remember being listed in Spears for the first time, I think it was about six or seven years ago now, and to be named private client accountant of the year is something really special and a real highlight of my career. What I do, anyone can really do. I pride myself on service and client service. I always think of our industry as a service business, ahead of being a tax advisor and accountancy business as well. So it's the journey from getting from A to B, which is really important to me when delivering client service. And client service has to just come right at the top of anything that we do. The answer at the end should be the same if you go to me or another, or another firm or another accountant. But what defines you is how you approach that service to the client. When I decided that I would take on the role of CEO, well, I suppose I was asked to take on the role of CEO in early 2020 by my predecessor, it wasn't something that I was looking for. And one of the big decisions for me was around leaving behind something that I really love, which is private client work. And I said to myself, and I made a promise to myself and my predecessor that I would carry on practicing as much as I could. My primary responsibility is the firm and all the people that are in the firm as well, and to give them the same opportunities that I've had. But I still wanted to keep my eye in on private clients. And I suppose I'll make my own time to go and do that. And what I've seen is a different dimension of my advice. Uh, clients are really receptive about my role as CEO. They're really interested as well. Uh, a lot of my clients are business owners, entrepreneurs. And so they're facing a lot of the same things that we're going through as a firm as well. Uh, the great resignation, the battle for talent, uh, what COVID's done to our profession as well. And being able to talk about not only just tax, but also talk about real life business issues as well, I suppose has made me a bit of a rare commodity in that private client space where I can talk confidently about real life issues that are going on in our profession, real life issues that are going on in business at the moment as well in a very, very changing world, and clients are genuinely interested in that. So in a meeting, uh, I'll spend very little of my time talking about tax these days. I'm talking about what is going on in the world and what I'm going through as well, and the challenges that we're facing as a business and how we're responding to that. Ambitions for Blake Rothenberg are that we will be the number one accountancy and tax advisory business in London. I, I firmly believe that we have a very unique structure. We've got great people in our business. We're very lucky that we've got fantastic clients who have supported us for many, many years. In some cases, we're onto the third or fourth generation of families that we're acting for. Uh, we're also very fortunate that we're very well known in the new money entrepreneur space as well. We've got fast growing technology businesses. We've got a very young partner group. Uh, the average age of our partners is in their mid forties. So we've got a long way to go and a real drive and energy to make sure that Blit Rothenberg remains relevant, sustainable, long-term for the future. Uh, what's next for me personally after Spears? Well, uh, what more is there to win? Uh, it's a really, say, really proud moment of my life, my career, uh, starting out in tax when I was 18 and now being private client accountant of the year. So it's a really privileged position to be in and say something that my peers and my colleagues have recognised me for. Uh, I've got a job to do at Blake Rothenberg. Uh, I have responsibility to all the people there. We have 700 people. We have fantastic people. And my role here is to make them more successful than, I, than I've been. And that's, again, what gets me out of bed in the morning to give back now. Uh, to the people at the firm, but people in the private client world as well. If I can even just help one person, I know that I've done my job.